Hey, when Rambling Canuck contacted me to put something together for November 11th, Remembrance Day here in Canada, Veterans Day down south, I knew I wanted to do something different. I've never served in the military, but I do enjoy all the freedoms provided to me through the sacrifice of others who have. Having never been to war, it's a difficult thing to know how to speak on it, but I'm lucky enough to know people who have. My great-grandfather helped raise me, and he was an important part of my early life and still is today. And I'm fortunate enough that before he passed, he was part of a study at a university close by, talking about history and his experiences. He volunteered and fought with the 16th Battalion, the Canadian Scottish, in the 3rd Canadian Brigade of the 1st Canadian Division, under Sir Arthur Curry. I've done my best to clean up the audio. This is as good as it gets for me. And so I give to you the battle for Hill 70 in his own words. Our next trip was to take Hill 70. France had tried to take it. English, British had tried to take it. They couldn't take it. So they put the Canadians to see if they could take it. They'd overlooked a big valley there that was right down the hill, you know. Of course, that's the trouble. We was all down the holes, and they was up in high ground. And uh, we always had to go up. But anyway, we took that hill with very few casualties. Well, they put a barge on there, and that's the first time they ever used, we ever used, a machine gun barge. First Canadian Division. And, uh, <clears throat> so they put on the barge, you see. And we were right behind it. Just like a hill zone. You understand? You just walk back behind it. We hardly lost a man. Took prisoners. They didn't know really who was there. They don't know where, who was on top of them before. They didn't have a chance in the world. Of course the Canadian troops, you know, there wasn't any better troops in France or anywhere than the, the Canadian Corps. Oh, Sir Arthur Curry made that one of the best fighting corps in France. Uh, the best artillery, best everything. And the machine gun barge that the others didn't have. See? Oh, yeah. Well, we took that. Hold it. We held up for 48 hours. We put on four counterattacks that afternoon. They just disappeared like that. Artillery, machine guns. The smoke cleared, there was nothing there. Just put the SOS up, the artillery boy. Yeah, we have the best artillery in France. They never saved the shells. <laughs> and, see, uh, it's one thing about the Canadian soldiers, that is, the Western guys. They stopped for them to help. See, once you was in there, you got acquainted with sound, with the big item, sound. Stay move. But anyway, uh, we got over that. And uh, we was getting relieved, and we come out as we was relieved. You know. Just one and two. Just as soon as we were relieved, that's the way you come out of the line. And we gathered up at before we left. Oh, uh, 
Edward different altogether. It's hard to tell somebody that was never there what it was like. We didn't think any more of our officers. He was just one of us. We, we didn't think any more of the old generals. Or it never meant anything to us. You understand? Because when you went over the top, you was all on your own. Nobody holding your hand. You had to figure your own way of getting to your ejected, and that will sob into you. So what does Remembrance Day mean to me? Well, it means the same to me as it should to all of us. It means everything. 